All right, we're in the kitchen again. You can see that. I'm going to try something today I never did before. If it don't work, we're all going to find out together. Go make some bread. Hang on. Orlando Prepper coming at you. Like I said, we're going to make some bread today. Uh, supposedly, and I read an article, I found this on the internet, it just has three ingredients. And you should have them all already in your storage, except the water. But there's only three, three parts to this. Flour, salt, and water to make uh, fried bread. So let's get on with it and see how it turns out. Okay, here's our ingredients, our flour, our salt, and our water. Well, we're going to mix that up in a bowl. Put the flour in there and the salt. Let's spread that out a little bit. I'm sure that's just for flavor. But it probably would be kind of bland if there wasn't something in there. Uh, you can... I'm thinking while you're doing this this stage right here, if you want to put something in there like uh, some herbs or maybe some corn or something like that, uh, bits of corn, get you some canned corn, chop it up and put it in there. Might work out pretty good and have some flavor. Let's put the water in there. Okay. Now we're going to mix this up. Get us a nice, good, doughy kind of texture here. We'll add just a little bit there. We'll set that right there just in case we need to add some more. But that right there looked like it did the trick. Yeah, it did. That's what we needed. About a tablespoon more water was perfect. So, what we got here, you can see, got our dough ball. Now, what we have to do is let that sit for about 30 minutes. And get the rest of that out of there. There we go. Let that sit for about 30 minutes. So, when that 30 minutes is up, I'll be right back. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. Uh, you can see what we got here. I spread some flour out here so I can work with this stuff. But, you can see where I didn't put it when I plopped this down there. It kind of stuck. But, uh, I've never done this before. It amazes me how this changes. How much of this changes as it sits. I'm sure there are people out there that cook all the time. And they've done this. And they thought, well, it ain't no big deal. Well, for somebody like me, it is. I've never done it before. But, what we have to do is, is pull some of this off of here. And, uh. Make a little ball with it, like that. There we go. Get it to knead together all, all into one piece real good if we can. Then we're going to put it down here on this flour and flatten it out. Because basically we're making flatbread. That's what we're doing. So, I think this right here will be a good piece to start with. That's what we want right there. We want this very, very hot. You can see it's on high. We're not putting any oil in there. You can cook these with oil. You don't have to get the skillet as hot as if you do. So, we're going to put that right there. Basically, we're toasting this dough. Is what it looks like to me. I don't know. But let's see what happens. You can see it's not sticking. That's because I put a little extra, extra flour on there so it wouldn't stick. But I'm going to flip this. Let's see what we got. Yeah, you can see it's browning. How it's browning right here. Looks good to me. Okay, you can see it's smoking. That skillet is really, really hot. 
and that bread is starting to really brown up good. Now I'm doing it this way because we're talking emergency food here. If I had some cooking oil, I could put it in there, of course, uh, and it would probably fry up a little better, but I want to see how this works using just these two ingredients with water in case it's an emergency. And this is the only way you can cook bread. That looks pretty good to me, so I say we're going to take that out and try it. Okay, we got it right here. Hey, y'all. Got somebody here to test it out with me. So I'm going to give you a piece. Okay, here we go. Try nice. it out. Let's see what we got. Not bad. Mm. It's actually pretty good. It's not. And you can flavor it up with spices or something, right? Like I said earlier, uh, you yeah. can put you some uh, spices in there. The salt, what do you think about the salt level? It's a little salty. A little salty, yeah. Yeah. Maybe a little less salt. But like I said, you could uh, put herbs in there when you're mixing up that dough and chop up some corn maybe. Yeah. You got canned corn, put it in there and mix it up. That works. Good, good stuff. This is just one that little piece. Soup? Yeah, it'd be great dip to dip, soup, in, right? dip in your yeah. soup, your stew, whatever. Absolutely. Some substance. And it's just one piece. Mm -hmm. I mixed up a half a cup of flour. We could probably make yep. eight of these this size. So, in an emergency, it's a good way to get you some quick bread. And it works great. Thumbs Tastes up. good. Good and hearty. So, with that, I'm going to say stay strong, keep prepping, and pray for the USA. Orlando Prepper and Lady Prepper are out. Out.